Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and this is uh, breaking news. Breaking news! According to The Hollywood Reporter, and I think they got from Axios, Warner Brothers Discovery and Paramount Global have held meetings to discuss a possible merger. So again, we have kind of like end stage capitalism going on here uh, with the streaming wars. Either you're going to wind up going out of business or you're going to wind up uh, merging to take on a bigger adversary like like Netflix or like Disney Plus or whatever. Uh, neither one of these companies doing fantastic right now. I guess Paramount has a lot of debt and Warner Brothers, of course, we did a video about them the other day that they have a 60% chance to go bankrupt. So like Sears and Kmart, um, they might merge and form one super entertainment company. Now, the rumor before was that Warner Brothers might merge with Universal. That'd be Comcast, that'd be NBC, that'd be Peacock. But uh, yeah, them merging with Paramount, that's kind of interesting because there was some news about Paramount uh, not too long ago that they were supposedly in talks to uh, sell out to Skydance. Like, I mean, I can't keep track of who's buying who, but Paramount themselves, the Paramount Group, they own a bunch of different studios, and Warner Brothers owns a bunch of different studios. Now they're merging with Discovery, and it's basically just end stage Hollywood, you know, end stage streaming. And uh, things aren't going to get much better, I don't think, for either company. I mean, Paramount hasn't had any major, major hits. Uh, you know, the last Transformers movie and the Dungeons and Dragons movie, they didn't do so hot uh, for them. Star Trek's kind of in a weird place right now. And, uh, you know, South Park's doing good. I guess Paramount Plus is doing pretty good. Warner Brothers, they've been striking out with the DC movies. The only big hit they've had this year, I think, is Barbie. You know, and that's not something they own. They got to share that with Mattel. So let's... Uh, Let's talk about this. Let's let's read what's going on here. This is all rumor and speculation, I guess, so far. But uh, yeah, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news views, and rants, guys. No woohoos, geeky sparkles sitting this video out. Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com. That's shopclownfish.com. Pick up a copy if you are so inclined of Crimson Ren Volume 1 or previously on Clownfish TV. Both of these beautiful graphic novels are printed and sitting here waiting to be shipped to your house or your business, wherever. Um, if you missed our crowdfunding campaigns, you have another chance to pick these up. Again, shopclownfish.com. So let's dive right into it here. The Hollywood Reporter says, Warner Brothers Discovery and Paramount Global have held meetings to discuss possible merger. Uh, David Zaslav and Paramount CEO Bob Backish met in New York this week. Says the next entertainment mega deal may be on the horizon. David Zaslav and Bob Bakish, Bakish held a meeting this week. According to Axios, a deal, if it comes to fruition, will bring together two of the entertainment industry's biggest players with Warner Brothers Discovery owning the Warner Brothers Film and TV Studios, HBO Max, and the former Turner and Discovery Cable Channels. It also operates the Max streaming service. I imagine if they would merge, they would just have like one super streamer. Paramax, Paramax Discovery, I don't know, Discover Paramax, uh, Paramount owns CBS Paramount Pictures and a robust film and TV uh, studio as well as Viacom. Yeah, they own a bunch of stuff too. Such a deal would likely attract less regulatory scrutiny than other potential mergers with Warner Brothers Discovery lacking any domestic broadcast networks and with mostly synergistic businesses. The biggest source of friction would be combining the two legacy film and TV studios. Kind of reminds me of what's going on in publishing right now. Uh, I don't know how many big uh, publishing houses are left. They all keep kind of gobbling each other up. The synergies would be strong. The CBS broadcast network and its local stations would fill a linear vacuum with Warner Brothers portfolio and bolster its sports business with leagues looking to have broadcast accessibility alongside cable and streaming, CBS Sports, and w, WBD sports rosters uh, rights do not overlap. Uh, so that would work. CBS News and CNN likewise have held merger talks in the late 90s and early 2000s. I did not know that. A high-level source has said, though no deal ever came to fruition. The view at the time was that CBS News broadcast programming and the cable programming of CNN would complement each other. Hmm. Of course, it would dramatically alter the landscape of entertainment with critical intellectual properties like Star Trek, DC Comics, Harry Potter, Mission Impossible, Transformers, SpongeBob, and Looney Tunes all under one roof. This is, this is getting to be like Disney levels of insanity. 
That's if regulators approved a deal or if they require any sort of spin out to satisfy their competition requirements. The two streaming services, Max and Paramount Plus, are seen as subscale compared to Netflix and Disney Plus. Yeah, so you merge those two together because right now Peacock is actually growing pretty big, I guess. Cock's getting bigger. Uh, it is, and it's ready to fuck some shit up. Uh, no, it's, uh, yeah, Peacock is actually doing pretty okay, as in, as I understand it. I don't know what Paramount's doing. I know South Park's popular. I guess Frasier's not a complete bust. Um, Star Trek here and there is okay, but yeah, this is kind of kind of interesting. Uh, Paramount and Warner Brothers have had tough years with their stock prices continuing to trade well below their hires in the early days of the streaming wars. Uh, WBD appears to be closing in on profitability and streaming, albeit at the cost of angering the town with some cost savings decisions. Both companies have been cited as a ripe merger target in 2024 with uh, NBC Universal. Yeah, I've, I've heard that uh, Universal was kind of hovering. Warner Brothers, because Universal, I mean, if they got, this could be a bidding war, because if Universal got a hold of Warner Brothers, they would basically own the Harry Potter movies at that point, and they're already, they already have Harry Potter in the theme parks. They would, you know, so they would have DC Comics, and they could replace the Marvel characters in the theme parks with DC characters. So it actually would work out really well, and that's what we thought was going to happen, but they're saying that these other two uh, might just merge together. Um, Zaslav has been avid deal maker since taking over Discovery Communications in 2006. Yeah, they merged uh, Food Network and Discovery Channel together, and now it's all it's all merging. It's all merging. Um, yeah, he sparked the deal to acquire Warner Media, infamously texting a golf emoji to AT and T CEO John Stanky in an exchange that would lead to formal talks. Zaslav and board member John Malone have said publicly in the last month they see opportunistic deals with many observers speculating that they had their eyes set on Paramount. Sherry Redstone, who controls Paramount through her family holding company National Amusements, said is said to have entertained talks about her controlling stake in Paramount. So yeah, this kind of goes back to a couple of days ago. Uh, Sherry Redstone said that she was in talks to sell Paramount Parent to Skydance. Um, she was going to sell the controlling interest in Paramount Parent National Amusements to uh, in, to media and entertainment company Skydance. Although Puck first, this is uh, Puck News. Uh, Puck first flowed the news a few weeks ago. A report from Deadline Thursday sent shares of Paramount up 13. percent So yeah, something something was going on. The outlet said that Skydance and private equity firm Redbird Capital were kicking the tires on National Amusements, which has a 77 percent stake in Paramount. So yeah, they would have to get her blessing. She would have to be involved in this deal. Redstone, the daughter of late Paramount boss Summer Redstone, has held talks with Skydance in recent weeks, according to the Times, which added uh, it was unclear if a deal would be reached. So that's Skydance. So yeah, so she looks like she's ready to sell. You know, she's been trying to offload some of Paramount's assets, the majority stake in uh, Bet. Um, that I know that they've gotten rid of a whole bunch of, uh, you know, unprofitable video game websites that CBS owned. They bought them for like a half a billion dollars and they sold them for like 50 million bucks. So yeah, something's definitely going to happen, guys. And I think they have, they have to merge because we're going to see a very different Hollywood on the other side of it. And we're only going to have like, it's going to be like Netflix, whatever's left of Disney, Universal, and then whatever this is, Warner Brother, Paramount, Para, Max, Para Brothers. I, I don't know. I don't know what this is going to be. Para Jokers. I have no idea. Uh, but there we go. That is that is the word on the street. I wanted to get this video up ASAP. So uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.